to all of you uh, welcome to the video number 587 my name is ajay parmar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar this is the channel name and today uh, i'm going to take up uh, one of my subscribers uh, email uh, he is facing some challenges in connecting the access with the excel so what we are doing what we are going to do in this i'm going to educate you how you can import the excel file name of your choice using the file dialogs in the access table but at the same time i will also correct the code which my subscriber had emailed me so let's go and start this so this is the email i got it from bhushan uh, from usa uh, hello Ajay, please find attached for the code and let me know what wrong I'm doing. So he basically forwarded this code to me and I have just got this code pasted in this Excel guys as you can see here, right? So basically this line is, you know, which he has written here, it's throwing the error. So we are going to correct it. Now first of all, I want to tell you what we are doing here. Let me quickly tell you guys. Now this is the code as you can see, it is written on my Excel file. Now you have here the access database. This is my access database. This access database is on my desktop and I have created a table here because when I was working on this code, I saw that he's trying to, he did not forward me the access database, right? So I just created the dummy database. Now you see that this the name of this database is mydb. It is saved on my desktop and this is the name of the table and it has a field called add files. Remember the field name guys, okay? And this is what we are doing this information which you are seeing in this add files this is the complete path of a you know some excel file which is on my document you know which is stored in my documents and the name of the file is test one so this is getting imported here exported here from the excel okay i'll show you how first of all i go and delete this okay so what is the plan first of all let me just go and uh, save this now guys the plan is uh, I first go, you know, I'll, I'll explain you this code. This is the code he has, uh, you know, uh, prepared. So this is going to be a very useful code for all of those people who want to connect the Excel, who want to export the Excel information in the access, right? Though in this video, we are talking about the exporting the only the file names, including the path of the file. Okay. So what we are doing here, understand, first of all, you are going to actually create a file dialog. Okay. What is a file dialog? What is the file dialog guys file dialogs you know if i just go on excel and i say control o what will happen you know the file dialog would come this is we are talking about this browse option you know so we he's what he's doing he's uh, getting this file dialog popped up and then through the file dialog i can go to any of my excel file let's say i go and say that all right so i want to actually import this file name including the path of this speedometer so when i click on the open see what's gonna happen i say open right so when i open the file the file should not get open okay in the code that immediately the information should go in the access table this is what we are doing so let's go and start this code okay now the first thing which you need to do is guys uh, because you know access is the external application and when you want to connect with the external application i had talked about this in many of my videos if you are by the way new to the channel if you just subscribe to the channel and you do not know much about it then i can tell you that uh, we have got 52 playlists on this channel playlist different different playlist uh, connecting excel with the outlook connecting excel with the powerpoint connecting excel with the axis connecting excel <laughs> with the ms word using vba all the automation and recently i started excel vba scrapping also guys so you're gonna find everything here right thanks to you you guys keep on writing such emails and uh, i'll just go and upload the videos <laughs> and we have got such a fantastic videos on this channel now thank you okay so since it is the external application you have to talk with the access so how would you how would your vba come to know now there are two technologies which we use one is called the do the second is called the adudb right now what the heck is that well i had talked about that in my access videos also you can go and check out access vba introduction series and you know other videos but quickly let me tell you so basically do is a, your data access object library and another one is the adudb Okay, this is called the ActiveX Data Object Library. Now, people can choose the ADO DB also, people can choose the DO technology also, but, but when you connect the Excel with the external applications, specifically, I'm talking about the Axis, okay, use the ADO DB because ADO DB can work on the servers also. Like if, if uh, DO is the best when you have a Axis 
uh, stored in your desktop you know in your desk uh, on your desktop location okay there's no server but if you if your uh, if your file if your access database is stored on the server which is accessible to a lot of guys you know like generally in the companies you know you prepare ftp path also so for, for to do that you people use the adudb because that gives you the lot of lot of uh, flexibility in terms of you know setting up the connection well as we as, as I go ahead I'll, I'll explain you everything so the first thing which you need to do is go to the tool option click on the reference and make sure access Excel VB should know that I'm gonna talk with the access so this is your call the ADUDB library Microsoft access data object library 6.1 library right so when you press MMM you go in your Microsoft access and this is where you get you'll get here a couple of uh, different different libraries so you can select any of the library over here right so once you do that it should automatically you know going to come on the top over here just below here this is another library so this has to be there now what he's doing or what we are we are supposed to you know we are doing guys first of all you have to set up the connection okay you have to tell the excel that look i'm gonna talk with this access guy and this is the city this is the place this is the street address of this guy so you're gonna go there and you're gonna you know just tell some deliver some message or maybe you're gonna pick up pick up something right or maybe in this case let's say you're gonna deliver this th this thing because we are now going to imp export the information so you're gonna deliver this parcel to this person right so the first thing which you do is you say that all right so let's start with the connection okay let's build the connection now how are you going to build the connection look at this dim cnn as adu db connection set cnn equals to new adu db connection now what is cnn well cnn is just a word which we use and uh, i think he copied this code uh, maybe from google i don't know but generally people you find uh, you know the articles if you go and read you find that a lot of guys they use cnn but it doesn't mean that cnn is uh, some vba word right you can write anything you can write ajay also i mean not a problem for example you can say that ajay as adu db you see that this adu db guys now I know many of you when, when you're going to watch this video you will uh, miss the first step you will not go in the tool reference and you start writing this and then you say that Ajay I'm not getting ADODB then I'm telling you in advance don't give me this comment okay because you have to go and make sure that your ActiveX data object library is activated otherwise you won't see this okay so that's how we write it connection guys right and then you write this and then you write set Ajay equals to you know new adub db connection right well this is just for your explanation so what this line does is this line actually uh, creates the object it creates the object connection right now there is a actually a variable in vba which is created which you can refer to that you know where it is going to be connected so this is a sort of a guy you have prepared right you have prepared a guy you have given him the money and you said that look you do this job for me go to this place go to this street go to this you know city and please deliver my parcel all right so that sort of thing this is the you know this object is going to do for you all right now what is the next thing you want to do well you see guys when you connect the excel with the axis right what is happening uh you will go in this table obviously you know through the V. If you work in the access, you know I'm talking about the insert into query, right? And this is what I'm going to use. So in this particular situation, Mr. Bhushan, uh, you don't need this record set, okay? Because you just want to insert the file name. You're not going inside the file and then, you know, exporting some Excel data there, okay? So we don't need that. Now, the next thing which we have done here is, guys, uh, this is the application dot file dialog, you know, uh, MSO file dialog file picker. What is it? I talked about this in my one of my one of my playlist Excel VBA file handling. Go and check out that. This file dialog basically does what? It pops up that same screen which I showed you. So what we are we have done is this is the important line. Basically, this line. If you remember, if if you look at this line, it says dim FTS file dialog. So the file dialog would come, and this is how we write that my file dialog is going to be equals to this application dot file dialog. So when you go and write application and dot file dialog you see that when you start the bracket you get to see here file picker folder picker open save as so these are all the different different file dialog boxes well by we what we need we need the file picker why because i want to pick up the excel file only i don't want to pick the folder there is a difference between a file and a folder a folder can have thousands of files isn't it so file dialog picker we are using it here now what's going to happen 
Now we are saying that with this file dialog, allow multi select property should be false. This means that you are saying that user should not be able to select the multiple files. Okay. Well, I think this is this line is not required because by default you are always on the false mode. Okay. You can't select I think more than two files. Okay. Title is there, guys. So file dialog will have a title. So let's quickly go and run this. So I'm going to simply go and click on the F5. And now I'm getting some error. So variable not defined. Obviously he has uh, defined this record set over here. So I simply go and comment this line, right? Because you know I just remove the record set. So we don't need the record set. So you just go and completely delete all this thing this is not required okay let's go and run this program here okay so guys now see this what will happen file dialog is created in the memory now we're gonna have the title now we say that if the file dialog is showing up which means when the file dialog show up and if I select some file there that it has to be picked up by this variable called select file select file is a variable I have created now see this show can you see that the file dialog is coming this is the same file dialog which i was telling you when i started the video okay now i can see all my excel files here you can see that so let's say i want to insert a file which is on my desktop let's say so i can go to my desktop also this is the beauty of this thing you know this this uh, the file dialog okay now you can see here it says place select file to attach this is the same uh, the coding he has written there that the you know file name has to be please select the file to attach so you can write that thing as well now let's go and quickly uh, I go and uh, pick up my this uh, excel file let's say uh, this is my excel file so I use this share status.xlsm now I click on the ok guys okay now once you click on the ok so what will happen the selected item which is coming here dot selected item when you run this your select file variable will pick up this file name you can see that here right so we have now c user acer desktop share status.xlsm desktop acer is my username by the way okay so you're gonna pick up this name now this name has to go in the access table so i'm done with my this code now just in case for example if i reset the code let me start the code again let's say i run the code again so this line is not required i just comment this line this is the title guys please select the file you know to attach which i showed you now let's say guys why if is written here that's what i'm trying to explain you let's say i don't select any file i simply say um all right cancel just just cancel this okay now what happens can you see that it goes in the else mode because dot show equals to true is actually false because you haven't selected the file when when you when you're not going to select the file it goes in the else mode and immediately exit so bhushan so far so good this is absolutely going good okay now guys you know I have selected the file now the information has to go in the access so here comes your connection part again now you have defined that this is your connection CNN now what happens when so connection object is created you have created you know you have got a somebody who, who is ready to take your parcel and you know deliver to that person right uh, who is living in some address you know at some address uh, in some city okay but now you have to give the direction also you have to tell what is the city you can also tell the you know so you're gonna tell each and everything about the route which route you know that a person should follow and so that he can reach to that place so you're gonna write here cnn dot connection string okay then you start here with the two things you start here provider what is a provider provider basically is a database engine now access has an engine 2007 onward versions they have their engine which we known as which is known to us as ACE Microsoft ACE OLEDB you can see here right so this is your basically the line which you have to remember learn it right there is no basically a logic behind this the logic in the sense I mean <laughs> you don't ask me that why this is dot ACE dot OLEDB dot 12 dot zero this is the engine name like my name is Ajay right my parents they they given me this name so that's how I am known to the world I'm known to you okay same way this is the engine name by the way if you are using access 2003 then just go in the Google and search the what is the engine name of for the access 2003 right it's I think Microsoft dot jet uh, J E D uh, dot O L E D B dot um, dot I think uh, I don't don't remember I think 3.0 what but you can find it out right but I don't think so guys anybody is using access 2003 now we uh, we have got access 2016 which is fantastic right so 
if you are using 2007 or 2010 or 2013 or 16 this is the engine name so you're going to provide here the provider name right just go and type that you can you will find this in the google also okay but you can type it from here microsoft ace microsoft dot ace dot oled db and then dot 12 dot zero once you did that you you know you're done with this you're telling you have told the vba that i'm gonna deal with the access you know or whose engine is actually this one okay but after that what is the next thing you want to do after that you write here the colon sign okay this colon sign semicolon actually okay and then you write here the data source so the data source you can see here i have written here he has written here that the data source obviously is this workbook dot path and then slash my db dot acc db what do you mean by it? you have to tell that where is that access located you are telling you have told that you have to you know uh, go in the city but in the city what is the exact address so you have said that this the engine you're gonna use right and now through this engine we're gonna hit that where is that access okay because you you may have 10 access databases created in the document folder in the desktop right so this is what we have written here this workbook.path and then add this workbook.path why why he has written this workbook.path uh, well this workbook.path when you run this line this is a vba line basically so what happens if you just go and write here message box and you write this workbook.path you see that what will happen let me quickly run this see this what's going to happen c user is a desktop now the file which i have created code this is on my desktop guys so it always tells you about the path okay so what is happening is this workbook.path is going to be captured and then slash my db my db is the name of my database which is on my desktop right so i have written here my db you can see that this is my db i created this if you if you are not going to create this on your desktop then you have to change the path remember that right so this is not mandatory this workbook.path you should write you can completely write c colon slash user slash acer or whatever you you have use the username or maybe if the database in the documents you can also write you know the document path or d drive slash mydb.accdb right you are just telling actually where is the access where is the address of that right so this is what it is going to do so that's how you, you can go and write here the data source. Okay. So this I wanted to explain you. Now remember one thing. Uh, it's always a good habit to write these uh, provider equals to and you know data source equals to. This is a good habit. Once guys, once this connection string set up, your Excel VB got to know that. All right. So this is my access. I'm going to go here. Okay. Now what is the next thing you would do? Once you have set up, once you, once you have declared everything that this is the engine and this is the, the, the you know, the access, the name of the file, the name of the database, then you just go and, you know, open that connection cnn.open this is what it does you see that this is the method so what will happen the connection will be created now once the connection will be created what is the next thing you want to do now the next thing which i want to do is this is what my subscriber has written this line this one set rst equals to connection dot execute insert into table this one now what i do is because i have removed the record set i just go and copy this line and i go and write it here so you can execute the connection cnn dot execute and then here you can write that command okay so just go and paste that command here okay i just go and remove this this is how it is going to look like now the problem here is so insert into so how we write the insert query guys you write the insert into then you write the table name the access table name okay this is how you write and then you after that after writing the table name you write here in the bracket field headers once you write the field headers then you write values and then you start writing what value you want to insert for example i want to insert the ajay this is how you write this is your actually the insert query guys right so what i did is what he did is he said insert into table one you know the access table name this is my table one isn't it table one is there and then this is the header name add files if you remember if you go inside this table one this is your basically table header add files so we are targeting everything right so in the add files what you want to actually go and insert this select file variable which is going to pick up that file name but here when you run this this will not work i'll tell you the reason uh, basically when you insert any data you know through some variable 
the first thing which you are doing here is uh, this the brackets which you are closing here two brackets this is not making any sense okay for example to explain you I go and copy this code and I go and say that dim str as string let me put that in the variable that way you will understand it okay so let's say this is what you have done right and here instead of that execute I will simply write that execute this str line which is going to be your insert into SQL query okay so we are working on this query now let's go and hit on this guys quickly let's go and run this so you can see here I got my path this is uh, because I was showing you on the code this verb dot path it is not required though I press F5 now the dialog comes and I go and select any file let's say I go and select uh, maybe this template file I click OK right now once you click OK see this what's gonna happen I run this str now look at this str let me put the watch code now in this now see this it says insert into table 1 table 1 is the access table name and then this is the field header looking good values now there is no space after values space has to be there okay look at this space values and this so first I need to make sure that the value should have a space so what I will do I'll go here and create a space like this okay and uh, there's no need to write these brackets okay because now I'm passing this value in the variable okay so simply you can write this in this way okay now I go and rerun this let's go and check that now you can see that the space is created now what insert into table one add files values and this is the name basically you are going to insert so now you say that connection executed so connection is open time to execute it right time to run the query basically which query this query guys str okay I run this when you run this this is the error the user was getting right he was getting this error right syntax error now what is the syntax error if you look at this in the query expression now guys what happens when you run this query you got to put single quote before and after this variable this variable select file variable okay you have to put that so what I will do see this now this connection this my string query I remove the breakout from here so that you can see that now you see insert into table one and the add files and the value this is a standard line I mean this will not change because you're not gonna change your access table name are you you're not gonna change the field name once the field name is there we hardly do any changes in that right if you do then you have to change here also but the chances are very less we don't really do once the table is created once the field the data is inserted you always use that table name you know the the one you have created and the field also remains the same the only thing is this variable will always change because that depends which file from the file dialog box what I am going to select so what you do you have to write the single quotes like this single quotes like this okay this is what you need to do but the point is this is a variable you directly can't write the single quote before and after this otherwise VBA will again throw the error so what you need to do you go and play here smart you say that all right let's go and put the double quotes inside the double quote put the single quote again double quote and then use the and operator so this is going to be joined with this you're using the concatenate similarly you go here and say and and then double quote single quote and that's how you do it. you know this entire thing right now I'm, I'm I'm gonna run this code again let's go and check that if I run this code again let's see how it is going to look like okay so I just put that back here I run this now you can see here you have got the single quote you can see that the single quote is coming here okay this single quote and this single quote so can we go and execute this there we go bingo time to close the connection well you don't have to close the connection I see many people you know write this connection dot close and then they write uh, uh, C set CNN equals to uh, nothing because these are all the local objects so once the macro finishes it it's gonna be automatically destroyed so let's say if I don't uh, close this let me just go and remove this okay I go and run this code you see that now I'm gonna just do this again for you first of all let's go quickly and check 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 that you know in the table do we have the data oh it shows empty guys does that mean the code didn't work well I do the magic I click on the refresh all and <laughs> we got the data guys can you see that template.xls including the file path name okay I close this 
you know this table now I go and run the code again so let's go and hit the F5 this time I'm gonna go a little fast right and I should get rid of this message box which I put initially uh, but anyways let's go and run this code again okay F5 now I go in maybe some another folder guys okay so this time I go go in the documents all right so in the documents I'm going to uh, just pick any file uh, let's say I will go and uh, go okay this one let's say this 580 okay this is the file i'm going to click okay i click okay and you see that the macro macro ran guys now you didn't close the connection so did macro say first close the connection okay let's go and check the output also well the output is also coming right so what happened you created a local object your connection was local okay so that means when the macro finishes everything will get destroyed so connection close is not really required in this specific case but if you just want to write it maybe you can do that okay so that's it for now and uh, thank you so much Bhushan. I hope you you like this video I'll see you all now in the next video do share the channel don't forget to click on the like and I'll wait for your comment. You guys don't comment and I really hate that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.